Welcome back everybody. Today I have a special video for you. We are comparing two iconic Destiny 1 hand cannons that have made their way into Destiny 2. We have the Time Lost Fate Bringer versus the IS Luna. We're going to be seeing which hand cannon has overall better stats, a better perk pull, and which one you should be grinding for. Ultimately, we want to know which hand cannon is the best hand cannon in Destiny 2. But like always guys, if you enjoyed today's video, Feel free to click that subscribe button it only takes one second and it's a great way to stay up to date with all my destiny 2 content but with that out of the way let's get into today's video now for those who are unaware one of the most iconic destiny 1 hand cannons finally made its way to destiny 2 and that hand cannon is going to be the eyes luna now the eyes luna is a 140 rpm hand cannon for the kinetic slot and this hand cannon can only be obtained from the new dungeon the grasp of avarice currently at the time of making this video the dungeon weapons are not farmable but it has been confirmed by the community managers that they will be farmable in the future i believe they said it was going to be by reset next week now that the eyes luna is in the game the question arises is the eyes luna better than the fate bringer well let's take a deep dive into both of these weapons and see which one is going to be labeled the best kinetic hand cannon Taking a look at both of these weapons base stats, the Eyes Luna slightly has better range and stability compared to the Time Loss Fate Bringer. But when it comes to handling and aim assist, the Fate Bringer narrowly beats the Eyes Luna. But come on, who are we kidding? The perks can really change a gun. If we aim for a max range version of each of these guns, on paper, the Fate Bringer with max range perks, a range masterwork, and an adept Icarus mod. It has a range of about 87, wow. but that's on paper. This is where we need to deep dive into specific perks. Eyes Luna comes with the perk Rangefinder, in which aiming this weapon increases its overall effective range and zoom magnification. This perk gives Eyes Luna a 10% increase to zoom when you're ADS and gives this weapon about a 3 meter increase to its damage drop off. On screen, you'll see a side-by-side -side comparison of an Eyes Luna with Rangefinder and without Rangefinder. Now, it doesn't seem like much. It's just a zoom magnification. But this perk alone not only increases its zoom magnification and extends your damage drop-off, but it also extends your aim assist cone, thus allowing your Eyes Luna to feel a bit more stickier in those longer distances. So if you can get your hands on an Eyes Luna with max range perks including rangefinder and a range masterwork your eyes luna won't see damage drop off until about 35 meters wow. narrowly beating out a max range fate bringer by about two meters while the eyes luna does come with the perk rangefinder let's not forget that the fate bringer does come with the perk explosive payload now for those who are unaware explosive payload is a great perk not only does it cause additional flinch, and it's great to utilize going against snipers, pulse rifles, and other hand cannons, but it takes your max damage and splits it, allowing you to do 47 critical shot and 24 explosive payload damage shot. Now, keep in mind that the further you get away, you will experience damage drop off from your main shot, but the explosive payload still stays the same 24. As you can tell, I am extremely far away from my enemy. I'm experiencing damage drop off significantly, but this is where the explosive payload perk really shines. Even though I'm experiencing damage drop off and it's a good amount of damage drop off, the explosive payload perk is still 24, regardless of how far away I am from my enemy. So you can essentially argue that the Eyes Luna does have about three meters on top of the Fate Bringer in the range department. But when you get further away and both weapons experience damage drop off, explosive payload will still keep that consistent 24 explosive payload damage now looking at the perk pool of both of these weapons they are very different with the exception of one perk and that's going to be kill clip personally i'm glad that both of these weapons come with the perk kill clip this turns this weapon from a two head one body kill to a one head two body shot kill which is just impressive for any 140 rpm hand cannon Overall, when it comes to range, lethality, and consistency, both of these weapons have great perk pulls and none of them are superior to each other. Eyes Luna does come with perks like Headstone, Demolitious, and Moving Target, all of which are great when paired alongside the perk Rangefinder. As for the Time Loss Fate Bringer, you do have perks like Opening Shot, Frenzy, Eye of the Storm, and Adrenaline Junkie, 
all of which are great when paired alongside the perk explosive payload so as you can tell even by putting these perks up against each other all the stats up against each other there really is no difference in hand cannons while fatebringer does bring the perk explosive payload to the table the eyes luna does bring the perk rangefinder allowing you to be more consistent in the aim assist department now acquiring these weapons differ in many ways and ultimately show their biggest drawbacks while the eyes luna can be acquired by simply completing encounters in the grasp of avarice dungeon the time loss fate bringer is a bit more complicated than that the time loss fate bringer is in a set pool of weapons that rotate each week when it's the time loss fate bringer week you must complete the master challenge in the master version of the vault of glass but once acquired you can easily farm this weapon by trading spoils for another roll at the time loss fate bringer but to be completely honest both of these weapons can be difficult to farm for when it comes to the eyes luna you have to get lucky to have it drop for you at the end of an encounter in the grasp of avarice not only that if you get your hands on a roll you aren't fond of you have to complete the dungeon again for another chance but just as difficult as it is to get a god rolled eyes luna it's just as difficult for any player looking to get their hands on a god rolled fate bringer this one requires you to form a party of six and complete the master version of the vault of glass on that specific week i guess the only plus side to the time loss fate bringer is if you're holding on to a lot of spoils once acquiring this weapon you can easily trade in those spoils for another roll at the fate bringer but at the end of the day both of these weapons are very similar when it comes to stats and seeing which one is right for you i guess falls back on time do you have time to form a team of six and complete the master version of the vault of glass when it's the time loss fate bringer week if you do and have lots of spoils then farming a god roll fate bringer is a no-brainer and can be easily your number one weapon to go for but let's say you don't maybe you play with a couple friends and you can't form a team of six well completing a legend version of the grasp of avarice is fairly easy and can be done in about 35 to 40 minutes which if you don't mind farming for you can easily get multiple eyes lunas the benefit of farming for an eyes luna is you don't have to wait for a specific week and you don't have to complete any challenge for me after acquiring both of these weapons with fairly decent perks i can say that rangefinder really makes eyes luna feel much better especially when it comes to aim assist you can really feel how sticky this weapon feels dueling 1v1s against other guardians overall i think that the eyes luna and the fate bringer are both great guns neither one is superior to each other they're almost clones of each other down to the flashlight it all falls back onto how much time do you have to farm for these weapons but with that if you enjoyed today's video and you'd like to see more content like this feel free to hit that like button which lets me know to make content similar to this also if you're new to the channel feel free to click that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on all notifications i really do appreciate you guys stopping by and hanging out you guys have a good one and I will see you in the next video.